despite concerns families may have about safety, there are a lot of students still interested in coming to Michigan State University. Um, in fact, enrollment here at the school is at an all-time high. More than 51,000 students have enrolled here, and that includes the undergraduate and graduate programs. We talked with a student tour guide here who explained how offering a glimpse into campus life became more complicated after the shooting. I wanted like a fun job, not like a boring like serving job or something. I wanted something fun. Reese Carlson knew right away she wanted to be a student tour guide at MSU. I, I, she started the job her really freshman nice year. I guess like they would ask me questions about like student life and stuff. I tell them like I'm involved in a club water polo. I would talk about that, how I like found my friends through that. Talking about her interests like water polo was what made the job fun for Reese. On February 13th, 2023, she was at a water polo practice when she ended up stuck in the locker room waiting for four hours as police tracked down a gunman. A few weeks later, the school started offering tours again. After the shooting happened, then how did the conversations shift? So I was actually the first ever tour after it. I kind of feel like no one wanted to like ask me questions and it was just like incredibly awkward. Um, I did have some people ask me if I feel safe on campus and I don't know how I answer that. Like the answer was no, but like I didn't know if I could say that. Were you advised on how to answer that question? Um, they told us to be honest, but not be like, talking about like how scared I am all the time, I guess. Yeah. Is that how you felt? I think so, yeah. Did you get questions that caught you off guard? Some dad asked me about if I thought the university was like doing enough or whatever. And I was like, you can't ask me that. Reese just left her job as a tour guide two months ago to devote more time to her other job. She's a reporter with Great Lakes Echo. She's studying environmental and health journalism.